Right, so before we arrive, we've got the brief, we've got documents, we've got the drawings. Um, we're building a scale model of an iconic building that probably everybody knows, um, the Gherkin. But all they've got is paper. Construction Arium sort of brings together um, students from university, you know, the, the theoretical side of learning in a in university. I think this prepares them for the real world. Uh, they team up with Morgan Sindel personnel. Um, we guide them through the processes of obviously construction and building certain items and certain projects. And obviously this year was the Gherkin. As a student, we'll all, we all get a lot out of it. It's something that you don't you don't know about in the classroom. You get all the theory, you get all that. This isn't just textbooks, this is real life. It's been an eye-opener. I've been able to learn a lot, not just in the actual, uh, the construction of the Gherkin, but in man management. If people want to get experience in construction to understand how it works, I would say that construction error for the first step is maybe the best thing. More Sindel's input into construction area um, and their input in regards to the time, dedicate uh, materials and obviously support they provide to the construction area um, in order to get students into the environment of a construction project um, is vital to get them to open their eyes and see that there is a good industry to be involved in um, and it's something that may be a career they want to pursue. But this whole project is a new thing to every one of us and without their help, without their skills, Without their guidance, it would have been impossible. Yeah, the guys that, that we've had, Danny, Dave, Andy, Alan, wonderful. And they have been every year, to be honest. We've specifically helped them by giving them a level of expertise and knowledge that myself and my colleagues, such as Dave and Alan, um, have acquired through, obviously, the years. Um, and we've, we've guided them and you know, taught them exactly how construction is and what it means to be in construction. I really appreciate yeah, their help. It was just right how it used to be, so we've done as much as we could by ourselves and where I needed guidance, we've got it. The amount of hours that the guys put in, above and beyond the call of duty, it's, uh, it's great. I, I mean, we couldn't do it without them. As a cohort of students, um, most of ours are in their first year and many of them have come from overseas. Some of them are from home and away from home for the first time. They get a real feel what it's like to work on site. The whole thing, you just see them changing from individuals on Sunday afternoon to a bonded team who can turn to anybody by the end of the week. So it gives them a whole, a whole raft of possibilities. Um, I, could, I could go on for hours about what Constructionarium does for them, what the experience does for them. For any full-time student, it's just it's the opportunity that you've been waiting for. It's almost uh, early employment. It, it's one of them industries that's just, it's all about communication. It's all about working as a team. And I think that's what it is. And then when you get that end product, when you get that final piece, the relief, the accomplishment that you feel is just, there's nothing like it. You also get to know um your module so much better after this week. I think it will be easier when it comes to everything because you can put it in the real life and see how it really actually was. But the one overriding factor, I think, and we've been doing this three or four years now, and I see the students for the rest of their for the rest of their time at university, they don't stop talking about it. I'll see them in the year three, I'll see them at graduation, and they're still talking about the construction area that they went on there. It's something that bonds them with their fellow students and they still talk about it now and they still, given the chance, would jump at the chance of coming again. Um, they're knocking on my door, asking to come again. Those that come want to do it again. I got more than I was expecting and it was more like family. So I was very happy to be here. And like I said, I might want to come back again. I haven't done anything in construction before, so construction area could be actually 10 out of 10. It's definitely up there with the best.